Oh, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, still picking lots of fruit. These are the autumn fruit in raspberries and they are absolutely wonderful, gorgeous and tasty. Uh, the blackberries, red currants we've got far too many of and the black currants, the second bush is giving uh, really well. I said blackberries, not black currants in my last uh, blog or previous. And there's some more of the uh, blueberries. Now they are doing a lot better than before. But it's well worth spending the time over the winter pruning and uh, supporting uh, the blueberries that are in the containers with the acacia compost now are absolutely uh, flying. The berries on that compared to the ones grown in the ground are totally different. These have been in the ground <clears throat> since I took the allotment on. Didn't realise you needed acacia compost. So uh, yes, I'll be digging this one out. I'll be letting that blackbird out the cage as well. And I'll be popping this into a pot to see if it'll do as well as the other one. My feeding regime, once we've pruned them back and supported them or cut these right down to the ground, this is all this year's growth. We give them some log ashes and then after that we give them some of the uh, liquid manure runoff that I produce. So plenty of nitrogen to give uh, it a good uh, boost. And then just as they're starting to flower, we add a, a nice uh, feed of uh, homemade uh, comfrey and uh, the pollinators are going mad and uh, it's nice to attract them with the lovely colours of the uh, dahlias but the uh, the noise of the pollinators here. There's even wasps here taking pollen. So I have to be careful when we harvest. I've just noticed uh, one that uh, I may have missed. <laughs> if I don't take it now, the, uh, the birds or the flies will have it. It's the same with the uh, blackberries. Uh, there's just a happy medium uh, when to uh, harvest and basically we just give them a little pull and if it doesn't come off it stays on there for another day but well worth maintaining uh, the uh, the fruit Bzzz. but as you can see there's lots to be had and there's next year's uh, new growth of course it'll be bent down or cut down one of the two so it throws out some side shoots i'll pop it there i'll weigh it first now i'll get these weighed because we're doing a, a little experiment to see actually how much fruit we actually harvest so if you wait to the end you'll see the scoreboard so here we go, uh, we started off with the strawberries, we've got the black currants there, there's still a few left, red currants, there's so many, I'm trying to give a few away, uh, blackberries there, that's the start, uh, summer fruit in raspberries, we ended up with that, we didn't get many white currants, uh, gooseberries, there's still a few more to pick but I haven't got time today and a few blueberries, they don't weigh much. And uh, here are the people who uh, took a guess. And uh, this is where we are now. 35 kilos, say nearly 36 kilos uh, as of uh, today. So uh, Peter, is closest so far but there's lots more to come the uh, raspberries where's the raspberries where's the raspberries he says oh hang on a minute uh, it's on the board <laughs> not many but that's the first proper harvest other than the ones I've snuck 
um, but I did say everything that we weighed and uh, they were looking really good so we've got that to add on next time which isn't going to make a lot of difference just at the moment but uh, again good luck to uh, everyone uh, who's uh, took part if you've liked the content uh, please uh, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down for the uh, interaction leave me a comment and why not consider subscribing happy gardening to you all till next time my friends try for now don't forget the end screens <laughs>